Hey, what's up guys? This is Everything Jailbroken, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys just exactly how to jailbreak your iDevice. Because um, this is a new YouTube channel, and I probably have a bunch of viewers that um, are seeing all the tweaks and things that I'm getting and wondering um, just exactly how I'm doing that. And today I'll show you how to get Cydia. Um, and with this process, you don't even need a computer, but you will need to be on iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3. And um, it is very, very easy. I'll show you just exactly how to do everything. And so you go to Safari, go to this uh, website right here, onlinejailbreak.com. I'll leave that link in the description. Um, but as you see, it says install or install. I'm not sure why it says it twice. Um, I've used both buttons and they both work, so I don't think it matters which one you click on. But if we scroll down here and look at the devices that are supported, just read through those. And if your device is listed in there, then you know that this process will work for you. And then in the instructions here, it just says press on install, go to the home screen, and you will see the app is loading. Uh, once you see install instead of loading, turn off your Wi-Fi directly or turn on airplane mode. And after that, you got to go into the settings and go to profiles and trust the uh, developer and then you'll have a year worth of jailbreak which is awesome and so with that first step all you gotta do is hit install hit install again and it should be installing on our home screen so here it is and I'm just gonna move it real quick up to the top somewhere right here so that we can see it after I lift this up because you're gonna have to keep an eye on this um, app right here and as soon as it changes from loading right here to installing then you have to hit the airplane mode button uh, now why you have to do this I have no idea it's kinda weird but just trust me it works I've done it so many different times and now it might take a little while to load just if your Wi-Fi is pretty bad like like mine is but um, I'm gonna keep this in real time just so that you guys can see exactly how long it kinda takes and how short of a window you have uh, once it hits installing to hit that button so you gotta be watching it pretty uh, closely once this gets about halfway usually about halfway or a little past halfway is when it changes from loading to installing so just keep an eye on it Now if I just want to tell you guys this, now if you don't hit the button at the right time or you miss it, then this app right here will not install correctly and it'll be all grayed out and it'll tell you that it was unable to download and you'll just have to delete it, go back into Safari and just uh, reinstall it. And But if you do get it at the right time, then uh, the app will look normal. I'll show you what it looks like in a second should be done pretty soon here just to let you guys know also um, I do have an iPhone 6 plus and I'm running iOS 9.3.3 come on should be getting close. Yep, we're probably really close. All right, so once it gets right about around there, it's gonna be close. So you gotta get ready. Right there, installing. Hit the button, and we should have gotten it. Yep, looks good. But uh, once you install it, you'll notice that when you tap on it, you'll get an untrusted developer error. And but that is okay. Don't worry. Just go into settings and go into general then scroll all the way down to device management and just tap on the Beijing Hong one right there and uh, once you do this get here though you do need to get off of airplane mode and get back onto Wi-Fi or else uh, it won't let you trust the developer so just go ahead and hit trust there and it should work and now it should let us into the app 
So yeah, and now this this part right here is pretty vital to the uh, jailbreak. You got to make sure that you click OK on notifications, or else it may not work. Now they won't send you notifications probably, but uh, you just need to do that for the jailbreak. So now that you're here, um, just wait a few seconds on this screen. Uh, people have found out that uh, it works better and gives you a better chance of getting a successful jailbreak if you wait a few seconds on this screen. And then after you click the button, wait a few seconds also. So go ahead and click that and wait a few seconds. And then all you have to do is lock your device and you should get a pop-up here, a notification. And if you get that and it reboots, then you should be good to go. But if it just automatically reboots, then um, you might have to try it again. But now that I see this uh, Apple classic Apple logo, I know that um, my city is back up and working because I already have a whole bunch of tweaks installed and stuff like that. So I know that I should be good. But after you guys install this, um, you should see Cydia. And that is where you can get all the different tweaks that I've been showing in my videos. And so, yeah, I can see all my different tweaks are working. So we should be good to go. I'll just show you guys. So, yep. Um, then you can just scroll over and find Cydia, which mine's down here. And open it up. And it should be working perfectly fine. Um, but the first thing you want to do once you get into Cydia is search for a um tweet called apple file conduit got to let it reload now this is a must have uh tweak or whatever you want to call it cuz it allows your um phone to go into safe mode if it uh has any issues so you got to get this one first thing to do when you uh, go into Cydia after you jailbreak. But after you get Apple File Conduit 2, then you should be good to go. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and take advantage of this while jailbreaking is still up and running. And this is Everything Jailbroken, signing out. Peace.